share this channel on the internet. How you doing guys and welcome back and today we're off to another adventure and this time we're going off Pine Island and we're using Safe Harbor Marina and it is a small ramp it actually only has one but it's very popular to the local boaters here and another good thing that it has is it has fuel and live bait. And so far so good, the day looks perfect to go boating. No rain, no clouds, just awesome weather. Back in the water, baby. Where we at? Where we at? Woo! Safe harbor. Best place on earth, baby. We're on the west side. And uh, first of all, today is Sunday, so happy Mother's Day to all the great moms doing a great job out there. And uh, well, today, since it's Mother's Day, we're actually doing what Orita wants. And what do you want today, ma'am, since it's your special day? Hi, I want to go to Gasparilla Island. Gasparilla Island, guys. That's where we're going. And oh, look by who's the way, here. By the way, by the way, uh, happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful moms that follow us. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. You heard it from the mom of the channel. <laughs> so, uh, yep, it's her day. So she asked us to go to Casparilla. If you guys remember Casparilla is the place here that I we went one time and it had super, super clear water. So that's where we're going to check out today. See if it's still clear. And there's a little bit of hurricane damage here, but not that bad. The marina's still open. Glad to see that. Uh, glad everything's going back to normal here too. Here we go with the show in Espanol, dale. Felicidades a todas las mamás bellas que nos siguen en nuestro canal. Que tengan un día espectacular. And look who's back. Look who's back. She actually is beginning to enjoy it again. Number four. And look, and look. And who, look who's here. Azuga. Azuga. She's always ready to go. She likes it. And we got a Capitan in La Gaza. Yeah, I already know. And look who we have. We have the whole crew today, actually. Look who's here. Made a debut. He's back from the fishing uh, tournament from the Keys. He got first place. He caught a, a hammerhead shark, 355 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you guys see my other videos, but yeah, there's just a whole bunch of trees here. Now it's all ripped up. But let's go. Go and show show. And el agua We set off to our 16 mile run, but the good thing, this is through the bay, so the water is almost completely flat. It's an awesome, comfortable ride. It's so comfortable that Oguita and Gabby are just sitting in the front, and usually that is the most bumpiest part of the boat. And it feels great today because we have the whole family coming along for the ride.
the most important part of this trip is make sure to follow the channel markers because there is a lot of low spots and sandbars with a lot of seagrass beds. On the sunny days like today, you can see them, but on a cloudy day, it's kind of hard to distinguish because the water is not as clear. And definitely, it's a very enjoyable ride because you get to see many different islands that actually people live on them. And the only way to get to them is by boat. And most of the houses are pretty big and luxurious. And it looks like it got pretty lucky with the hurricane because I can't see really major damage. And last time we traveled by Boca Grande, there was a lot of boats at the mouth. But this time, we decided to stop and check it out. Yeah, yeah. No. And this is amazing. We stumbled upon a tarpon run. This spot here is known as the Blue Hole. Tarpons come here from all different locations, as south as Florida Keys, and they come here to breed. And also, there's a local legend here of a huge hammerhead shark called Old Hitler. And he's known that when you're fighting your tarpon, he'll come and take it from you. So we're gonna sit around and see if we can film anybody catching tarpon. Mommy, give me a heart attack. And this is pretty cool because the local beachgoers, they have the front seats to the, all the action because it's about a hundred feet away from the shore. Look, guys, I'll get that one to use her foot as bait. Do it again. Hey, look, she wants to catch a fish with her foot. Dude, it's a shark. <laughs> Keep playing now. It keeps running, it goes back and forth. Yeah, yeah she's fighting. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Oh, 
outside. Do we want to record that? It's right there next no, to the boat. Right there. Yeah, guys, we're about 200 feet from the coast or the beach. And look at this. Look how deep it is. 60 feet of water. That's the deepest I ever seen it so close to the beach. Wow, that's crazy. So you're fishing again? What are you fishing now with your butt? <laughs> I want to see if I can catch something. You think you think they'll bite? You think the fish will bite? <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty exciting. There's about four or five people hooked up. And most of them were girls. I guess it's a girl's lucky day thing. So uh and it's surprising that it's so close to the shore in like 60 feet of water. We're between uh I guess South Gasparilla and well, now we know what's going on at Cayo Cotas Inlet. That's why there's always so many boats there fishing. And now we're going to keep going towards our destination. And the ride is about a 20 minute run north. Here it is, up ahead, Placida, what I like to call Boca Grande, on the sandbar. And very happy and glad that oh, it survived ahead. the hurricane because there's maybe tree damage, but I don't see major damage on the buildings nor the sandbar itself. Looks like a lot of moms had the same idea as us to come celebrate Mother's Day at the sandbar. And honestly, I couldn't yeah. think of a better place. And also glad to see that the historic railroad tracks didn't suffer any damage from the hurricane. And how cool is this? We got to see local natives also day. celebrating Mother's Day here at the sandbar. Look at that, babies. And as tempting as it is seeing all these people enjoying the sandbar, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna keep going because we're on a mission on Mother's Day to please Ogita and take her to her favorite beach so far here on the west coast. Right now we're cruising by Birds Key Island and Sandbar that the local boaters also like to hang out here. Here's a little trick to get out of this inlet because there's a big huge sandbar at the mouth so you have to hug the south bank really close and then come out about 100 feet and circle back to the beach because if not you're gonna hit the sand because it happened to us last time we were here. The only time you might get away by cruising over the sandbar is at high tide. Alright, so we made it to Ogida's. Okay, this is your what? This is your what? Okay, this is right here, Gasparilla. Right here, look at the water. Water check. Water check, I'm gonna give it an H today. Yes. 
Go plus go throw that anchor. Lag, can I jump in the water? Yeah, jump. Alright guys, check it out. Uh oh. Uh oh, look at this. It's about 10 feet deep here. Mom, no, mom. No. I mean how deep is it? Four five feet. Mom, let me go, 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 yeah, look, she drowned, it's three feet, she almost drowned, give her a rope so she can hold it, alright, let me get the back anchor, sir, let me get your stuff, mom, alright, so check it out, this is, oh my god, the sand here is incredible, incredible, oh alright, go ahead, go ahead, tell them what time is, oh my god, the sand here is just soft, but it's like not mushy, I don't know, it's just, oh my god, I love it, guys so this is Ogita's Mother's Day's gift she wanted to come here look at this and this is why she wants to be here look there's shells everywhere oh look at this look shells look at that that's why she wanted to come here this is awesome Gasparilla awesome beach you guys over here visiting the west coast check it out gasparilla it's awesome look at the water Woo. look you see my feet so clarity from one to ten i'm gonna give it an eight today it's not crystal clear but it's pretty clear oh my gosh look at gabby she's having fun again Oh, she smokes you. Well, like you can see, everybody's having a great time here, even Asuka, because she loves running around on the sand and jumping in the water. But the fun doesn't stop here because we have more to come. But that's gonna be in part two. We went to another island and Gabby surprised Ogita with something we made and we ended up stopping at the sandbar to finish off the day. All that and more is coming up, so stay tuned for video number two. Where's my body? Oh yeah. Almost.